meat, billy goat. If you all remember, I brought this um, tool back from San Antonio, my buddy. Um, let me have it, and it is pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to use it to tackle some huge bushes today. So we'll see if it works. I'll keep you updated, but as always, it's an amazing day on the farm. Let's see what this billy goat can do. Okay, so we've got a lot of inquisitive cows over here. I think found our bull. There he is, right there. He's the furry one. There he is, trying to trying to get excited there. So how do we get him? From that side, look at this beautiful pond. How do we get him from that side over to here? Okay, we'll figure out that bull being on the other side later. I just talked to my neighbor and he said that uh, he could bring him by on Tuesday. He's gonna be counting all these cows and doing, doing some other things. But let me tackle this little bush of craziness with the billy goat. Hopefully it just chews right through it. We'll see. Just a few more. This billy goat tool is incredible. It eats through these bushes even faster than an actual billy goat. And I don't have to build a fence to keep it in. Thanks buddy for this great tool. I better finish this up and get to milking. The, the fun things we've been doing are incredible. The uh, One of the biggest changes has been having a little baby added on to the farm. It is really little baby human that is. I mean the baby calf has kind of added some some excitement as well but there's not really much work to do with a baby cat, but with a baby human, heaps of work for all of you that are parents. And for baby human that's our number five, heaps of work. 
And so as I've been um, as we've been trying to figure out the whole milking thing, and fan club is already here. <laughs> it's kind of fun to have so many excited uh, beings um, about and uh, you know out and about. But here, let me give the call to uh, little Miss Elsie. Do you see her over there? Let me give her the call and then we go and get the grain. There's the milking bucket. I put the soapy water up there. I just hope that they don't get their faces in the milking bucket. Trying something new today. I've got the sweet feed and these um, cubes, 20% uh, protein cubes. There she comes. She knows what's coming. I got it for you. I got it. Oh, step up. Oh, man. Just put a bunch of your spit in there. Let's see if I can get her all the way up on there. Can you go up there? Nope. Not today. It's a gorgeous morning. There you go. It's cleaning you up here, girl. Awesome. You know, it's some work. Let me do a little bit of training to see if I can get her her back legs up on the stanchion. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta go through this way. Can you get your back legs up there? Almost, almost. Nope, not today. She doesn't quite know what to do with those cubes just yet. I think she's getting them. Maybe I should put some kind of border up. You know, keep this bowl on here. I don't know, what do you all think? What's a good solution? I was also thinking about just putting a screw to hold this bucket on, but I don't want... I don't want that to be, like, permanent because I want to be able to take the bowl off and wash it. I don't know. Send me, send me your ideas. Until next time, that's Milking with Elsie. Oh, and I just learned, my sister was just telling me, Hey, there's a mascot named Elsie, a cow mascot named Elsie. Look at this. Oh, the Captain Billy Bob were having a, a showdown. There's a cow mascot for a dairy named Elsie. See if you can figure out um, which dairy it is, and let me know in the comments. And if you get close, maybe there'll be a prize. Say. Thank you!